and the new season is underway. Good launch time from our pole sitter who has the lead. Victor Martins is up to second place. He moves ahead. It's going to be three wide in the battle for third as Taylor Barnard drops down. That is brave stuff from O'Sullivan. Trying to get in the mix there. That is really aggressive stuff as he fights his way by and that is very, very tight as well. But a great start. A great start off the line for Crawford. It was brave from O'Sullivan, our runner-up in Formula 3 last year. Crawford, then Martins and Fitter Powdy diving to the inside of four won't get there. Those who were brave maintaining position out front. Excellent stuff. Crawford, then Martins, then O'Sullivan, then it's Fitter Powdy. Barnard fading from second to fifth. Barnard at the back end of the top ten now, having started on the front row. We've got a virtual safety car deployed. Now we saw, uh, or rather heard, that there was an investigation, and that is the reason why. And Villa Gomez into the silver car of Cordiel. Cordiel out of the race and a puncher for Villa Gomez. Look at what the difference that we've got here. Soaring left, soaring right, trying something that, that you never normally see. But this is Formula 2, and that is outrageous from Maloney. We go on board with Maloney. Got one position last time in turn 12. At turn number one, it's another position gained. This is Fittipaldi putting the pressure on O'Sullivan, trying to go the long way round. He'll have good launch off the corner. He'll have the place. Fourth position to Enzo Fittipaldi. Chance for Isaac Hadjar, the Red Bull Junior driver is to the inside, he gets the place away from O'Sullivan. So O'Sullivan dropping down, taking the pain at the moment, he's got a more durable tyre on the car. One of the things this car was built to do was allow close racing, we're getting exactly that. We're getting a move for second place, Zane Maloney on the charge from eighth on the grid to second in the race. Fittipaldi is looking in his mirrors, looking in the left one, looking in the right one. It's full of Isaac Hadjar, a driver who has Formula One experience, thanks to free practice at the end of last year. Had a couple of sessions, has the inside line. Fittipaldi's been there a couple of times and he knows that you can brave it, that you can tough it out, but he's got no response in the Van Amersport racing car. And Hadjar, another driver on the charge, he has moved from ninth to fourth. Turn number four with the lead of the opening race of the F2 season in the balance. This is great overtaking stuff from Zane Maloney, who is momentarily in the lead, but he knows he's going to have to try the up and under. He knows he's going to have to turn the outside line to the inside to the race lead. And that is eighth on the grid to P1 in Bahrain for Zane Maloney. It's a driver with little experience there. This is Fittipaldi looking in his mirrors. And there's battles all over the road now. Pepe Marti is getting to the apex first. Pepe Marti is getting ahead of Fittipaldi. Further up the order we go. Hadjar trying to turn fourth into third place. Good launch off the corner. DRS wide open is always going to help you. And Hadjar goes from ninth on the grid to third position on lap 16. Using everything at his disposal, but is it going to be enough? I don't think so. Here we go with Pepe Marti to the inside at turn one. That move has been coming. He parks it nicely on the apex and he takes the position away. On a great day for Campos, the Red Bull Junior drivers third and fourth at the moment. This is a place on the podium up for grabs. This is a supremacy in the team in this early stages up for grabs. And wafting one to the inside and not fought at all. Don't know if he can fight it. Oh, he's trying to take a different line. He's definitely fighting it. Up to third position goes Pepe Marti. He's got his teammate for company. There's the last thing that Hadjar wants is to be passed by his teammate for a place on the podium. He's looking for that at the moment, but Marti's fought his way by, and Marti's claimed a position on the podium for the moment. Nervy moments for Campos as we're about to go side by side. Who blinks first here? Who claims the place on the podium? Pepe Marti for the moment has fought his way through from 11th on the grid to the rostrum. It's going to be Omni fighting down to turn number one. Hauger gets up to sixth position momentarily up against Victor Martins. When it's a traction race, he'll be by. Bortoletto, the Formula 3 champion, clears one car and he gets past. They're on the same hard tyre. The next two are on tyres that are expiring and expiring quickly. Bortoletto could get a hat full of places now and he's trying to get past Martins and claim seventh position. When it turns into a traction race, he's going to be in the box seat and say goodbye to the yellow car. There's the example of what 
have a hard tyre to give you if you've kept them in the window. And Bortoletto will be trying to get past up to fifth. Brilliant, brawling, absolutely superb scenes at Bahrain International. The two teammates go side by side at turn number eight. And you've got Bortoletto in seventh. And claiming the last point now is O'Sullivan, who darts ahead of his teammate. In his second season, he's had to wait to hear these words. The boy from Barbados will see the chequered flag first. Zane Maloney wins the opening race of the year and takes his maiden victory in Formula 2. Great moments for Rodin, who celebrate. Crawford is in second place. Pepe Marti will be on the rostrum in his first ever F2 race. And it's a traction race. It's a drag race to the line for fifth place. And it's a brilliant performance from Aaron to hang on from Bortoletto, who had the better tyres by one-tenth of a second. Hajar was in fourth. And the driver to follow Bortoletto home was O'Sullivan. Halga completes the points. Formula 2 is back. Yes, mate. Well done. Well done. That was amazing. Yes, guys. Come on. Great start to the year. Obviously, the job is tomorrow, but what an amazing car you're getting. Thanks a lot. So let's confirm our first result of the year. It is Zane Maloney who takes 11 points thanks to winning and the bonus point for fastest lap. His first win in Formula 2. Then it's Jack Crawford and Pepe Marti went from 11th to 3rd. If you're taking the win in F2 2024, you deserve that smile on your face. The celebrations begin and the top three gave us a race to enjoy.